everyone, it's Eileen from No There's a Crafty Idea and I'm here with my latest um, journal flip through and um, just to, to show you how it turned out and to let you know that this is available on Etsy so I'll drop the link below um, now I made this with a kit called Lazy Sunday from Antique Papery and I will be popping the link for that down below as well so please check out the links and if you like this journal please drop a like okay first of all i'm gonna show you what the extras i didn't use everything in the kit so i am um, got this envelope that i made a while ago and it's just book page with lace over the top and i've put the, the extra bits of the ephemera in there and that'll be coming along with the with the journal those bits don't fit so i've just tucked them underneath there like that so you'll be getting that along with the the journal and you can play with the extra bits of ephemera so i've just done a lace um a lace tie because i didn't if this is a chunky monkey and it's got lace edging and i didn't want to um flatten anything by putting something solid on um so it is just a piece of nice lace if you want to change that then that's up to you the journal itself, the outside is um, all hand sewn, um, it's embroidered and it has um, lots of little details added to it and little bits of um, gems and metal pieces and flowers, um, antique doilies and this is an antique collar and the other part of the antique collar is on there and I've just added some nice charms, bowls, flowers and I've done a lot of um, hand embroidery on this as well so you can't see it very um it doesn't pop out straight away but it just there's little accents here and there and little bits of stitching just for just for the, the fun of it so let's um it's edged with lace <clears throat> and then the inside is a nice heavy um hessian like fabric and it's got you can see I've, to reinforce the cover i've used book pages from a, an old encyclopedia from a vintage encyclopedia and you can see those book pages through the um the fabric which is great and then this is some um scrapbook paper i i'm sorry i can't remember the name of the paper but i will find out and i'll pop it down below and there's how fabric flip and i used the same method to make a um snippet roll and i've used it to for the top of the the fabric flip and also for a pocket and the belly band and again it's all hand embroidered hand sewn i didn't use the machine at all i just added all the elements and sat and hand sewed it's it, slow sewing <laughs> and so we've got lots and lots of journaling space in this one it is very chunky you can see it's very chunky um we've got lots of lovely journaling cards um, a journaling card, cabinet card, and they're all coffee back. Uh, they're all backed with the um, writing paper. And I've used lots of the elements from the kit. And the lovely, the kit is absolutely stunning. I've um, popped some of the lace on the, the edge of the pages. I've left it a bit long because I was going to trim it, but I thought. I quite like the idea of having little bits of things sticking out and little little frayed edges and that but if you wanted to you can just snip that off and that's that. This is a little um, hidden journaling spot so you've got some extra journaling space in there and it's actually a, um, a paper clip so it's actually holding on one of the envelopes from the kit. Um, which has got ephemera in it. I'm just going to tie this back up. There we go. And then in there is the envelope and it's got bits of ephemera in. And then on the other side we have a tag and a journaling card and they're just being held in by that paper clip. Once I get my fingers to work again let's pop that back on there we are <clears throat> and then I've just this is a, a lovely card that I took from a vintage book and um, some of the tickets from the kit and a nice tag and that's in a nice tuck spot and then this is an envelope from an oriental Japanese um, stationery set 
and so I've got the envelope there with just a, a nice card in a nice tag in sorry and I've also used the paper which I'll show you further on this is um, one of the pieces from the kit that I made into a pocket and there's a nice journaling card for it and then lots of lovely tea dyed coffee dyed papers and then there's a nice pocket we, we did I did a um, collage using the papers from the kit and some other bits and papers and some of the elements from the kit and some of the elements from that lovely Japanese um, stationery paper and I used that to make the journaling cards and some of the pockets and the tags and then these are elements from the, the kit itself and you can see it all kind of matches and I've kept the colour scheme the same and this is the paper from the, the Japanese stationery and then in here I've put a vellum letter, vellum printed letter and that is with a little journaling card from the kit, a nice little note, uh, waterfall notebook and some of the tickets. And this is another piece, this is the pocket piece of the snippet roll that I did with the hand embroidery. You can see all the stitching that I've done on there and I did a few little elements as well. All by hand. And then a nice doily and this is the center of the book the book has one signature this is the center it is another piece of the lovely scrapbooking paper which i'll leave the name of down below in the description and then we've got a nice little pocket with just a a tag a little tiny journaling card and another little tag as well and that's got the lovely purple flower on that matches the kit and then this is one of our stuffed pockets and it's absolutely full. It's got a tag behind and then it's got bits of elements from the um, kit and from the collage that we did. So it's got lots of bits of, of pieces, bits and pieces in it. And again, I've left the lace long on this. You can cut it off if you want or just leave it as an extra decorative element. And then another page from the kit. And there's another journaling card in our pocket and this is the other side of our envelope this cluster is um, a little tuck spot as well so there's you can tuck your little bits and pieces in and then in here we've got a journaling card with its own little tag in it so there's plenty of journaling space again there's the lace and we've got a nice little tuck spot here with a journaling card and a tag and I've used similar lace in the, the tag that I have in the book itself so it all ties together and here's another one of the journaling cards and we have an altered paper clip holding this lovely envelope on I'm not going to take that off because it's exactly the same as the other one slightly different design but that's you know it's got the same things in it and then there's another one of the lovely pages and we've done a side a diagonal no, side pocket here and we've just got in it's a journaling card with its own tag and I put two of the little tickets into and then a, a nice tag and then our lovely coffee dyed doily and this is one of the trifold um, pockets that I make and it's got one of these ancient documents in with gardening images in the middle and I have stenciled on some of the coffee dyed paper using a Tim Holtz stencil um, with music and here's the belly band and you can see that's another part of the snippet roll with lots of little elements and lots of embroidery and I've just popped in a couple of nice big journaling cards in there and that's the back of the book and then you can see the back of the back cover it's very much similar to the front with the antique um, collar and the vintage doilies and bits of coffee dyed lace lots of embroidery some ruffles beads metal elements bows just about everything so that's the our lazy sunday journal i hope you've enjoyed that this is available on my etsy store so please do pop in and um, take a look and if you've enjoyed this video then do drop a like um, and please subscribe for more videos so thank you very much bye